What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off what happened last time, we have got two armies landing on our shores, one from Britain and one from France. So these are going to keep us occupied for the next couple of turns. Um, we have a slight... No, we've got generally better troops than theirs. The um, Irish volunteers aren't great. Scottish line infantry isn't great. I think we've technically got, got better shooters than they do. More accuracy, that's for sure. And we've got loads more artillery. So let's do this. We're probably going to have to do a couple of turns of chasing them down. Which is going to be annoying, but, you know, not a lot we can do. But mainly, we are just severely constrained from a financial perspective. But at the very least, we aren't on the risk of dying. So my intention is 100% maximise our artillery advantage. So, so don't go for any horse. You guys can go for their gunners. Actually, you're probably good to go for the gunners because they've not yet unlimbered. Broken for now. That will not last. Fancy shot on my Marines. Don't have fire rank yet. Fire by rank yet. Oh, it's a whole load of cavalrymen dead before they even made it to the line. Is their cavalry going to die inside our square? Do you have a yeomanry right at the back? Oh, Cavalry came back. Keep engaging Scottish line infantry. Keep blasting them with canister shot. So men went out and shoot them. It's more a case of for how long. Push up so my marines can actually get involved. Those are those volunteers, you guys try and forget those Irish volunteers. The 
Chadwick Neff can feast on the bodies of the Irish. Cavalry around to chase down some of these routing troops. Yeah, let's speed up time because right now this is all just going to be. Yeah, the first regiment of foot's taking a pounding, and they're not very happy about it. And again, neither are they. Yeah, they routed as well. Goes hit them. Where is my unit of cavalry over here? Kill as many as you can. Artillery can attack ground here. One of my demi cannons cruises on the go. Someone to hit this space here. Just one hit against that gun crew. Got it. Let's mow down some more Irish volunteers. Some more Irish volunteers. Although these guys will probably get away. Well, they might not. So will the Scots. Damn. Oh well, we've done some good damage to them. Which, which I'll take. <laughs> Especially in this campaign at least. So we've taken out 777 of them, which will make them even more vulnerable to our... Fire. So they're probably going to knock down this iron workshops, and that's okay. 1300 smackers, but we've only got 300 next turn. Just need to. That's because of the knocking down of this farm. Let's hit end turn. What I really need to do is just turbocharge my Spanish. Um. Spanish economy. <laughs> uh, do just don't don't assume any amount of income coming from trade because I'm not going to have any. Because if the Ottomans don't blockade me, then the Genoans will. And sadly, no one's at war with the Genoans in the Med to do my dirty work for me. And it won't be long before the the uh, Moroccans come after me either. And Portugal is just getting stronger and stronger. So my, I might attempt to get an alliance with Portugal. That might be the safest route. It does cut off my expansion route, or my preferred expansion route, but I'm being, being realistic. I don't know, I could. Most of their forces to the north. I could attack the city. They've, got, they've not got walls and overwhelm them. I mean, once the Spanish, once the French are dealt with, that is. Logical advance, spinning Jenny, 
is good. Okay, now you want to go for... What does this help with? Bear Farms is good, and they're cheap. But I've got... Alright, how many have I got? Iron Workshop, Weaver's Cottage. It's got two Iron Workshops, really. And my mine will benefit from something. And it might actually be better to build common land enclosures. Let's repair this Iron Workshop. Let's take Guillermo Genovese. You can hit Barcelona. Let's take him out. Yeah, I think we very much... I very much need to attack. I need to attack Lisbon. I need to get more income. I don't want to attack North, because that puts me on the border with Prussia. And Prussia is OP right now. Prussia is very strong. So maybe I ought to try and make some diplomatic overtures of them. But then again, I don't have the money to do that. And I'm the AI. The AI always hates doing anything nice to the player. Let all my artillery go. Some Irish volunteers right at the back. Shots. These souls, they're raiding good Catholic ground. Get, it's coming to them. Nope, Soundberg, so we're not going to hear much for a moment. But blasting, they get these guys have cast shot. The cavalry is routed to the rear. for the yeomanry. Round shot. Soon we'll go off that really annoying 5th Regiment set right at the back of the map. Okay, these guys can bombard the unit dug in behind the wall. So at least we can chip away at them. My cavalry would beat theirs, 
well, I suppose there's no harm in just charging them in. Just keep moving my infantry up just to provide support. These guys will probably run out soon. Charge them in. Push. You are just yeomanry. So they're lining up ready to fire into the combat. These guys can run to get into position. Yeah, fighting these little itty bitty raider, raider battles are fun. Just a play. What might do when the French attack next turn and actually try to kill me? Yeah, we want to continue. These are, these are evil raider scum. Put to the full, full penalty of Maltese law. Take him out. Go. These raiding armies are going to really slow me down, especially when they run away like that. It's auto the last 139 men lost. Doubt it would have been that many if I'd fought it, but whew. okay, bring you guys back. And let's keep the tavern. Okay, so these guys are on course to come back to the city. in my interest to save up to build the major fishery so we can upgrade or build four three ships of the line not that we have the money to do that but at the very least it gets us it gets us moving in the right direction and to be honest once we're strong enough we can probably storm and take lisbon in one turn just overwhelm them especially if most of their troops remain in the north Go on, Barbary States, help me out. Go take out the Georgians. The Genoans. Well, they probably can't get there because of the... Uh... No, the Ottomans are allied with them. But well, they're their protectorate. Gash, Nevit. So we've got a rake in Spain. Send the rake to try and assassinate the general. Yeah, but now you know. Okay, you guys can do with replenishment. Let's move you back. To be honest, we do need to just move down here and take Spain. Take Portugal while they've got all these troops up here. Because if we fight and take this out, they're done. They don't have any other regions. <laughs> all the tech they've got that I don't have. Because I'm spending all my money keeping my armies together. Yeah, I need to take Portugal to get more cash before I can worry about fighting with fighting a uh, proper navy. So these next few turns are going to be pretty vital for my efforts. And to be honest, I may even get so that I end up having to, if I can stabilise my front line, I might be able to send some troops over to the colonies. But then again, there's no point getting any trade income, because I've got nowhere to trade. Hmm. But between them, Madrid and Lisbon are quite valuable, so I'd hope I could make the uh, economies there boom. 
land locations. So that allows me to upgrade farms. Not massively important because they've not got too many towns I can actually grow, but give me a bit of money. Let's march you guys just outside. So you get some good garrison troops. We get three line and two citizenry and a bunch of mortars we don't want. So I'll wait one more turn to get these guys give these guys time to replenish and then we will attack. I want to be in a good position to um, continue to push. I mean Salamanca, you could probably do something like measuring tools, flat wealth gains across the board. from all of my buildings. That's the sort of thing I need to do. French have decided to stop sallying, or stop attacking me. I don't like that Austrian stack <laughs> manoeuvring its way through northern Italy, because you know I am very sceptical of what the AI attempts to do. Prussia does scare me. It really does scare me. Because I'm not in a position to... I'm not in a position to... to hold them off at all. They've just taken Paris. Oh my god. Is that, is that... No! There's still a French region in northern Italy. But that's really scary. Because they're now right on my doorstep. That's really scary. Let's get some visibility on what's going on up here. See, because France still has Turin. Um, is France at war with Austria? Is Austria going to take that region? Um, don't spend your time assassinating him. Go up to Turin. Because I hope that's where their Italian stack was going. Not the Italian, the Austrian one. Because they're at war with Genoa as well, which would help. Because they could knock out Genoa or France. They're not at war with... Oh, they are at war with Spain as well, so they might just go for any one of these. Genoa would be the best for me. Okay, group you guys together. Get some replenishment pre-organised. I can't actually attack you. Maybe, maybe I can if I don't include this artillery piece. Nope. I just can't remember which one of the guns it was that I did take with me. It's all militia and junk. But I don't want to leave. I don't want to pull them out here and try and attack them in case they just decide to run around and attack, take the city. Because that would be super lame. I think I'm going to have to uh, to leave it. What I'm tempted to do is... I can't even do that. If I knock this down, it doesn't give me enough... Does Or does it? No, it doesn't. Only 500 for building a farm. Um, I think I have to sit and wait. Can't punish any of these guys. Just keep growing. Just keep growing, Spain. Keep, uh... Grow to the point where I can run an empire of just Madrid. Hopefully the French Navy, French Army may just go north. I mean, I doubt they will, but I'd like to think they would, they'd pull back. Because of what's going to happen, but I suspect they're just going to sit and raid in my territory. Yeah, if the Prussians declare on me, I'm dead. I could just about hang on against a couple of a 
couple uh, fanciful colonial powers trying to interfere, but Prussia's a major land power. I can't beat them. They're in most of Central Europe. They absolutely can outcompete me every day of the week. There's no amount of trickery I can do either. I can't blockade ports and slow people down. You know, I, I have to just... I have to just live with it. Okay, I'm going to cancel rebuilding of this farm. It's probably going to get raided. And repair the college. Take this army. Send them up and let's take them out. Let's do this. Madrid's not even my capital, so we can't even establish trade with Prussia. And I don't want to let Malta fall. Oh, it's a river battle. Hmm. So where's the ford? The ford's over here. So I'm militia up to cross the ford. So my marines up and my foot line to cross over the bridge. Set two guns up facing this direction. Set two guns up facing this direction. I mean, I know they're, they will probably try and attack me, but I think, because it's especially if I'm the attacker, I think it's more... ...representative of the battle that I cross over the ford. Artillery, but it's probably doing okay. There you go, as my men pour across the bridge like the orcs through Mordor, through Osgiliath. Good lads, every one of them. Got a quick line shot there. Beautiful. Then over here is not so bad. Granted, you're tired, but you could have died in the breach where you lay. I mean, I don't know why these marines are going to the other bridge, but whatever. Some guys in the range. No. Push up aggressively because they've decided to sit trying to reform the lines. They know they're being looked at. As are... The Ottawa Scouts have opened up. One stage and your battle is over. Another begins. Let's 
Who's these scouts who's going to be charged? Hey, you almost got me. charge my marines into them because they're running straight out of A bunch of those militia are going to get away, which is annoying, but everyone else, we got them bottled up. There's nowhere for them to run. Too bad it's my marines chasing them down, because they are tired. So folks from artillery onto the units that are sticking around. Literally nowhere they can run. I don't think they want to run anywhere because there's nowhere for them to go. So they are going to try and route through my units, at least some of them are. That's an expensive way to route. It'll work. general over here to get any people that leak through. So get to work on that line infantry unit. Just charge them in. Let's halt my artillery fire because there's not a lot of friendly fire going on. Staff as incompetent, but holy moly. Some are going to lead through. Folks fire the awesome scouts. Oh, 
most of them. Decisive victory. Decisive is a good word. Decisive is a very good word for it. You managed to forge a river crossing and then, Jesus, look at that. 212 men lost and we killed two, almost 2,100 of them. Pronti. So let's head back to the city. Let's dispatch a... Splinter Force chase down from this direction. You guys can start to move around to here to intercept. Let's get my rake over here to get some intelligence on what's going on over in North Italy. Also, we're now going to get a thousand cash. So, lots of Prussian armies sat in, in and around Paris. Spooky. I just hope to Christ we get time before they decide to turn their muskets onto us. But that's the... that's so... I'm really scared of that now. <laughs> Yes, just garrison the forts. Just stay the hell away from me. At least let me build up my own little Iberian Peninsula empire. See, Portugal's now great. <gasps> oh, damn. I thought about say Portugal has only got the garrison, not the actual... Not an army in there, just the garrison. I mean, and they say, what's the difference? The army is the... They're actual recruited troops, the garrison are the randomly generated troops. But if we can knock out that French raiding army, I will then move south, well west, and try and blitzkrieg Lisbon. What we really need is Prussia and, Eng and uh, Britain to go to war. That would be incredibly useful. Okay, stupid nephew. Plus two to morale in battles. To be honest, you guys go straight back to the city. You guys go chase them down. Could probably auto that. Jeez, 421 casualties. Let's replenish. It's a lot of money to replenish. Let's just hope they didn't figure out what our sneaky plan is. 2,000 in tax. It's going up a lot now, considering the fact we have no trade. Five turns to get the wealth, to get the uh, measuring, road measuring tools. Don't worry, France. I'm not trying to kill anyone. I just want to see what you're doing. And hopefully I want to see you absorb all these Prussian armies. Ideally, the region would also be ripe for rebellions and so on for a few turns. I mean, I'm glad they aren't clustering their armies northward. Because, like I said, it gives me an op it gives me a gap to run in and overwhelm the garrison and destroy all of those forces before they even get a chance to fight. Which is perfect. But we'll have to... Well, we'll have to see. Path blocked, that's okay. We're not trying to kill anyone, just want to see what's going on. So they, they've thrown the... Ah, oh, bankruptcy. Beautiful. Not that it matters too much. 
How about you, Spain? You bankrupt? No. Not yet. Yeah, look at that for a Prussian Empire. But are they also then at war with lots of people? France, Sweden, Spain, Portugal. Not Portugal, Poland. I mean... As long as they keep themselves... They keep looking at each other, not me. Okay, let's replenish. Signore. Bring you guys back. In attesa di ordine. Let's replenish everyone. We can probably afford to recruit a couple more units of line infantry. They're not building walls yet, which is good. We've got a tentative farm, which is handy. Okay. So once they get measured roads, I'll try and see if I can do any more of the physiocracy um, technologies to try and improve wealth, growth. Because at the very least, this is going to slightly improve the standing armies we can we can afford. But we need to hope to Christ, Portugal isn't allied with... <laughs> the Portugal isn't allied with uh, Poland. Not Poland. Prussia. And look at all those navies. See, to win up there, I have to kill all of them. I have to be able to destroy all of those navies. And that's going to require a huge navy. So huge, I don't know if it's even worth bothering, at least focusing on. Because that's a major economic investment. more investment available Irish Brigade 12 pounders wineries help produce wealth they improve town improve town growth not what we need town growth Bilbao you'll become a trade port So at 1300 a turn, Spain is producing pretty much our entire... I mean, Madrid, no, I mean, Malta is still helping. It's pro it is providing tax, but not too much. <laughs> um, okay, so I think the idea is to try and buff the number of real soldiers we have. As well as probably buy more cavalry. Plus one measure for the army, plus one happiness and nobility. Good, because then that'll help our that'll help our replenishment um, argument. Oh god damn it, France. Leave me alone. You've all oh, you're screwed, France. See, even when the AI is desperately screwed, they still go, oh, no, no, we'd rather screw with you. I mean, we could protect ourselves or fight the great enemy or whatever, but we'd rather screw with... Oh, no. Good. Good. Keep going. See, now would be a perfect time. No, it wouldn't. Well, I suppose it won't really matter. We're ultimately going to be fighting one army. One Portuguese army. Yeah, Malta's just surrounded by a navy that we cannot possibly hope to destroy. Even if we get fourth rates, we can't stop them. If I had a medium fleet, though, I could probably gobble up things like that. But yeah, we need to send all you guys down here to go hit Francois Delancey. Fresh over from the States. But they're already depleted. But looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the part. I've been busting for a pee for about the last quarter of an hour. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for more nearly stillborn adventures of the Knights of St. John. Cheers, everyone.